gone in seconds. A beautiful village in the Swiss Alps. A massive glacier collapse triggered a catastrophic landslide that buried the town of Blatten under ice, rock and mud. On Wednesday, a huge section of the Birch Glacier in the Lutschental Valley broke off. Millions of pounds of debris slammed into the alpine town of Blatten, destroying homes and forcing mass evacuations. Experts call it a cascading disaster. The glacier had been unstable for days. Rock debris fell onto the ice surface and unusually warm temperatures accelerated the melt. Cracks formed rapidly, a warning sign that the glacier was ready to give way. So we don't know for sure whether you know climate change was the main driver um, of this event because we would need to know for certain whether this event would have happened in a reality that doesn't have any climate change and we, we don't have that parallel reality really. And what we know is that you know climate change at high elevations is not favorable for um, rock slope stability. So with increasing temperatures, more water available through ice and snow melt, um, maybe precipitation falling even at high elevations more often as rain than as snow. So those are factors that are not beneficial to mountain stability. Um, Professor Bethan Davies, a glaciologist, explained how permafrost, the frozen glue holding mountain rock together, had likely thawed beneath the glacier. Once it melted, the slope lost stability. The result, a catastrophic landslide. A similar event occurred in 2023 in the Silvretta Alps. But this time, with more ice and meltwater, Birch Glacier unleashed a torrent, triggering fears of further flooding in the nearby River Lonza. Certainly a, a really, really rare event and, you know, kind of a sequence of, of really unfortunate coincidences, if you want, with this, the rock face right above this glacier and then the glacier being, or kind of that valley being so in line with, with the town underneath. Um, I don't expect that we'll see anything like this, you know, anytime soon. Yes, it can happen again. It's rock falling onto a glacier. We have lots of rock. We have quite a few glaciers, um, so it's not impossible. But Search teams were forced to suspend efforts for a missing 64-year-old man after conditions became too dangerous. Residents described losing everything, with one saying, you can't tell that there was ever a settlement there. <laughs> the chimney builder came to ours at around three because we needed some work done on it. We went up to the first floor to check the chimney and then he had to go all the way downstairs to look. While he was downstairs at the entrance, there was a rumble and there was like a bang and the light suddenly went out. So we thought, that's really weird. What are they doing down there? And then he came up straight away and said that he had got messages that the mountain was coming and that was it. Since 2000, Switzerland's glaciers have lost nearly 40% of their volume. Scientists link this to rising temperatures, up 3 degrees Celsius in the Alps since the 1970s. In 2022 and 2023 alone, a record 10% of glacial ice vanished. Glaciologists warn that unless global warming is limited to below 2 degrees Celsius, Switzerland's glaciers may disappear entirely by 2100, affecting the region's water supply, stability and even sea levels worldwide. For more than two weeks, we have been monitoring the movements up at the Kleines Nesthorn. And for two weeks, we have also had a simulation that shows a worst-case scenario. We have always included this worst-case scenario in our analyses. We discussed it with the municipality and decided on the emergency plan, which is why the municipality evacuated the village about 10 days ago. What happened to Birch Glacier is tragic, but it's not isolated. Events like this are becoming more common as climate change reshapes our planet's most fragile environments. From the Swiss Alps to the Himalayas, 
Our glaciers are melting and the clock is ticking.